If you have a product with multiple colors like this t-shirt, we can't see all its colors on the collection page. We have to access the product page to see the other color variants. It would be better if we could display each color separately on the collection page without creating a new product for each color, since it will be more difficult to update and manage them, especially if you have hundreds of products you need to duplicate. I will show you how to achieve this result without using an app or creating new products on all the free Shopify themes for any variant option you want to show separately. Let's get started. So let's first see our product settings. So let's say we want to show each color of this t-shirt separately on the collection page. So to do that, make sure that you have multiple values for the color option and that each variant has its own image assigned to it. So to assign an image to a variant, simply click on this image icon and select the image you want to assign to the variant. You can also add a new one by clicking here. So let's select this image and click done. Then once you finish your changes, you can click on the save button here. So now let's edit our theme. Let's click on online store. And I want to add this feature to the live done theme here. So let's preview it. Let's click on this button. Click on preview. And let's take a look at the collection page. And here, as you can see, we only have one variant on the collection page. So let's go back to the themes list. And before making any theme edits, I want to make a duplicate of my theme in case I make a mistake. So let's click this button and click on duplicate. Okay, so now the theme finished duplicating. So I'm going to click on this button and click on edit code. So I prepared two code snippets for you to copy paste here in the theme. So let's click on this folder to hide the files inside. Click on this other folder again and click on the snippets folder and click on add new snippet and name the snippet card dash variant and click done. Next, open the first paste bin link that I sent you. You can find the link in the description and make sure it's card dash variant dot liquid snippet. So click copy, go back to the code editor and press control V to paste the code. Now click save. Now let's paste the second code snippet. So to do that, click on this search bar and search for grid and click on this file here, main collection products grid and click anywhere on the file and press control F and type card dash product and click on next. And we want to replace this list element with our own code snippet. So let's delete it. Now open the second code snippet that I sent you. Make sure it's the main collection product grid and click copy. Go back to the theme files and press Ctrl V to paste it exactly where you deleted the list element. After you paste the code snippet, let's scroll up a little bit until you see the variable option underscore chosen and make sure it matches exactly the name of the option that you want to show separately. For example, if you have color with a lowercase c, make sure to adapt it. For me, it's a uppercase c. And if you want to show any different option separately on the collection page, delete this value and replace it with, for example, size, if you want to show the size variant separately or material, for example or any other option name you want to show separate. So I'm just going to stick with color. And once I'm done, I'm going to click save and click on preview to see the changes Then open the collection page. So now I can see each color of the product on the collection page with the value of the color next to the title with its specific price. Then if I click on a color variant, it's automatically selected on the product page. All right, so now that I'm satisfied with the changes, let's publish our theme copy. So to do that from your themes list, just click publish. Publish again. And it's done. This concludes our tutorial. If you are looking to hire a developer to build this feature on a premium theme, you can reach out to me on my website. You can find the link in the description. Also, if you're a developer or interested in understanding how I built the code snippet that we used on the video, I have a dedicated tech video that explains how I built that code. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.